What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on the Patricia testing account. I know these videos are coming a little late tonight, uh, yeah, Lily was sick today for those of you guys who care, uh, which meant we spent all day with our kiddos, both of them. That's tiring. Anyway, we are going to jump into Aspen Dungeon and see what this hero can do. So, this is going to be interesting. Um... I don't know how far we are in it either, which is why I'm gonna go with like an A and B speed setup just in case we are slower. Now, here's the thing. I'm not expecting this hero to be all that amazing in this game mode. And that's because, well, demon potions aren't gonna do much for her because round one actors with her don't do much. Uh, but we'll have to see. We do have a very fast speed setup going on here. She is a main householder here, although we are missing two tenants, which does hurt the overall speed of our hero versus you can see right here. I mean, the more heroes you get, the better it's going to be. Let's give it a try. Let's see what this hero can do. And also, let's see where we're actually locked to. Uh, purgatory one perfect opportunity and this is exactly what we don't want to see because that means once again we're gonna die on wave one <laughs> i literally tried to record this three times now you know what the first two recordings were you never saw them why because i instantly deleted them why is that this wave has been our first wave three times in a row this is the third time and all we're gonna do is sent her to her slaughter. We'll even go in with a demon potion here. Oh my gosh. Oh, we hit we hit the drake. So the previous two times we did not hit the drake. We hit the drake this time. That is absolutely amazing to see. All right, let's get going. This is this is perfect. Every time I've tried to test a Patricia in purgatory it has gone horribly horribly long wrong however this one seems kind of good uh, a lot of damage reduction so we're not even really taking much damage here and there's a lot of extra chase attacks and she has a lot of healing so wonder what Amon Rod does here so again her damage round one is not very big it does do quite a bit of damage healing wise it's not that bad I'm trying to think who her worst enemies will be. Around one active surprisingly is doing better than I thought it would too. I guess because it does hit three random targets for like 2,000. Um, let's see if we get this one again. Oh, we hit the Drake again. Thank goodness. Essentially what was happening with that defense down, the Drake was hitting us, putting that black hole mark on us, and then we were just dying to it. Granted, we weren't using A and B in those previous attempts, so maybe that makes a bit of a difference here. I don't know. What I do know is it looks like we have the speed for up to Purgatory 50 at the very least, which is nice to see. And surprisingly, she's doing better than I ever would have thought. Granted, you still have to be careful of those Drake, Rogan, Ithkal ways because they are dangerous. Now, one thing I think this hero might be able to get around to is that infinite dodging from a sword flash so that's also a very nice little perk about this hero whereas heroes like aspen you're basically just screwed unless you have the ranger star spawn but all those extra ping damages those are passive and if she has passive that's really good wow wait did she just dodge that attack with defense down did I just see that correctly? We can skip a lot of these fights because a lot of these are not going to matter. Uh, this one kind of does matter. Whether we hit the penny. Oh, no. Oh, wait. That was interesting. Definitely. Uh, we dodged the attack, so therefore... Did, wait, how, how does that work? Because she should still get that reflect armor. Maybe that's that little bit of damage we took. Oh, wow. This is, this is actually impressive. This is quite impressive. And she actually farms up energy very, very easily compared to a lot of heroes. Now, granted, like I said, the, the active skill isn't like a round one victory type thing. It is a nice amount of damage. I mean, Ross still pretty dangerous, I will say so. Most of these enemies should not be that difficult, though. 
Yeah, most of these we should be able to skip through. Yeah, I figured we'd get a full heal off that hero. Same here, older heroes, not much of an issue for us. Definitely not gonna die to Trashy Lago. And yeah, we have a really interesting way of generating a ton of energy on this hero. Because it's like the active skill isn't the killing skill, it's just having enough rounds. Pretty solid. Her healing is really, really good. Wow, I'm gonna have to think about what to do on our next Transcendence Hero tier list. Because overall, she is pretty dang good. I don't know why I keep checking what it is. I'm not buying it no matter what it is on this account. <laughs> Mm, let's see how this works out. We do have a round two active, so that's good. But honestly, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wow, the dodge is absolutely insane. This is so good. Her dodge chance, I think, is like what I love about her, just like Lord of Sparkles. It feels like hers is more reliable, though. I don't know why. Oh, wait, I do. Oh, 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 that was a dangerous wave right there. And somehow we pulled out with it. I mean, we had energy, so that does help, of course. Man, oh man, we're doing so good here. Like, so, so good. Solo Ithqua. And we're just staying at full energy because we're not actually one-shotting these waves with a round one active. Oh god, please, please. The fact that she also attacks, like, after, and she has good crowd control, and she has dodging, and she has healing... Man, oh man, she's actually a really good hero right here. Ooh, that Amon Ra damage right there. That's exactly what that was. Uh, and yeah, like so many ways she just completely full heals on too. This is, this is really, really cool. Ooh, but again, we're almost going into every wave with energy. I don't know if that's necessarily like amazing. You notice we just hit a higher tier of difficulty here. We did stun the Amon Ra, which is kind of good because she won't put her shields up. But again, so much of our damage is like ping damage. We almost died right there. That was sketchy. We have the same wave, it looks like, again. We got the Fiona this time. Take on the Amon Ra. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. And get the stun. Yeah, this hero seems like surprisingly good. I was not expecting her to be this good in Aspen Dungeon, but this is a very very pleasant surprise and like i said that's been happening a lot with this hero with me like a lot of times i test her in something i'm not expecting much and she does surprisingly well surprisingly well like none of these are going to be an issue i don't think uh this is one that has a transcendence hero but he does go first not taking much damage from him though luckily I might die here. Yeah, this is a little bit of a sketchy wave. Even though she is doing a ton of extra attacks, the healing curse is probably going to kill her. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it did kill her. Uh, the second you get Transcendence Heroes, it does get a little more iffy, but yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. I want to test her again, especially since we finally got to do a decent test. I kind of like this hero, and that's without Giant Killer or anything like that. Granted, it's a very good copy, but interesting. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. We're going to have more Patricia's action coming your way very soon. I'll see you guys next time.